I'm Eric Eastep, the pastor of Village Church, and I am here with Matthew Phillips again, our associate pastor. And so we are here to do uh, just a prayer and praise really moment with you today. And so I uh, thank you for joining with us. Just a few moments, James is going to be sharing a new song, The Blessing, uh, with us. And we're going to start singing that in church probably in the next couple of weeks. But uh, today we just hope that you're going to be encouraged. We're going to have a special prayer time uh, for today just sort of to refocus us and kind of help us put things back on a spiritual level, looking to the Lord. And I think that's this is just a good time for us to do that. So we are glad that you joined with us today. And so hang in there with us, listen to the song, and then come back and be prepared to pray with us.
James, thanks for sharing that song with us. Um, you know, I was, as I've been thinking about really the last couple of weeks and watching, you know, watching the news and, and seeing people's responses to a lot of events that have taken place, it's just a reminder to me how important it is for us to remember to be talking to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I think that it's just very easy, and it is for me, to, be, to become very uh, negative, to be very frustrated, a lot of things that are going on without ever addressing our, our needs uh, to God. And so I just, I just want us to do that today. And I, I see that um, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. We are, I mean, it's, it's July, uh, which, is, which is hard to believe. So next month, school starts, mm-hmm. at, we're hoping. And so there's just a lot of uncertainty about what's going to be happening. What is the plan? Uh, what's the plan for school? And there's really not an answer yet. Mm-hmm. And so uh, Matthew brought this up today. He said, you know, we really need to be praying. We need to be praying for our schools, praying for uh, wise leadership and just a decision to be made. Mm-hmm. And so, Matthew, if you would, would, I'd just like for you to pray for our schools, yeah. the leadership, uh, because we need, to, we need to be able to get on a track and just go with it. And mm-hmm. so they need, they need wisdom. So let's, let's ask yeah. the Lord for that. Okay, let's pray for that, please. Heavenly Father, we just come before you here today. And, and God, we know in your word that you say man determines their plans, but God determines our steps. And so, Jesus, I know right now that there's some plans that need to be put in place from a human perspective. But, Father, trusting you in this process and understanding that you are the one that guides our steps uh, to that plan. And so, Jesus, I pray right now that you would guide the steps of all of those who are in a position of leadership, Lord, that you would just give them the wisdom and discernment and really the boldness Mm -hmm. to just say, this is where we are and this is what we're going to do, but, but we know that we can adjust. And so, Lord, I pray, God, for them that you would just allow them that boldness to be able to make decisions, Lord. But I also pray for the hearts of those that the decisions affect, that you would allow our hearts to be hearts that are flexible, Lord, that are are one to realize that uh, we've got to be willing to adjust. And so, Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you would just help us in that endeavor, that you would allow those in our community to be ones who are encouragers, not discouragers. Mm -hmm. And, God, that you would just allow us, above all else, to put our faith and our trust in you, God, knowing that you are the ultimate one who uh, paves the way for us. And so, Jesus, we just continue to trust you in this process. We ask that your will be done above all else. And we pray, God, that you would be the one who receives all of the glory. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen, Lord. And we are, we are thankful, Jesus, uh, for you. And, uh, Lord, I, I know that uh, in this time it is very easy for us to, uh, to, be, to be quick to speak. And I pray that we'll take uh, Scripture to heart where, where you tell us that we are to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. And, uh, Father, I pray that as believers that we will lead in in this in this scriptural command that we are given uh, god i pray that we will be uh, driven to our knees to simply lift up the the needs of our community to you uh, god i pray for um uh, for our our leadership in the in the schools god i i know that there's got to be a, just a lot of concern uh, that they have about opening up schools and uh, god what they're going to do but i pray that uh, that god that your spirit will will just will move over them, God, where they will make wise and good decisions. I pray that with the, the people in our church, the parents in our church, Lord, even in our community, uh, God, that you'll give them confidence, uh, that you'll just give them a spirit of peace. And uh, that is, I think that's really what we are, we are longing for so much. We are longing for the peace of Christ. And uh, God, I, I think there's many people that don't have peace because they don't know you. And so I pray that as a church and as Christians, that we will be faithful in pointing people to you, because Lord, you are the you are the hope of the world. You are our only hope, and we need we need to be sharing the good news of Jesus with people. May you help us to be bold. I pray that through all of this, Lord, that we will see uh, that we will see you move like we never have before. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining with us today. Hope you have a great week. And remember, we are meeting for worship inside of our building right here in Blythewood and also at Park Street, 9 and 1030 at Blythewood and 1030 at Village Church at Park Street. So we hope to see you in person. Have a good week.